Welcome to the Social Stack, your go-to channel for marketing tips based in technology for your real estate business. I'm Amy Stack, and today we're going over how to add a button to your Keller Williams command email templates. Um, let's go ahead and get started by sharing my screen here for you. And we're just going to go back to that email that we have been updating to show the other features. So I'm in designs, I'm in my emails, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that example one and open that bad boy up. So you can see here, we've got some other samples populated in there already. Today, we wanna to talk about how to add a button. So let's say you want to have something link to somewhere else on the internet. You can use this icon over on the right in our widget section that says button. I'm gonna click and drag wherever, remember wherever that green line pops up is where your widget's gonna to, going to populate. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that right there. And then all I have to do is select the button and hit our pencil to edit. Everything on the right hand side is what we'll be able to update. So first I want to indicate what the button is going to. So you don't want it to say button, but maybe you want to say click here, or you could say learn more or uh, apply now, you know, whatever is relevant to your, your link, watch video, you know, anything like that. And then you're gonna to have to actually supply the link of where you want it to go. So here we have the section that says link to, and you can click that and you get some options. So if you have a landing page you've already created in command, you can link it here. You can link to a merge tag and that will give you some more options in a new dropdown. Or most commonly I see people use the web address. So if you want to send it somewhere that isn't part of command, um, for example, the Homekeeper blog, um, all Keller Williams agents do get this for free. Uh, so I have just pulled up Homekeeper. And if you want more information on that, go ahead and, and click that pop-up video tag here. And it, we have a whole class on Homekeeper, so you can watch that as well. Let's say I want to link it to this specific article on home improvement. So here's my article. I'm just going to copy my link. And we're going to paste it right in here. I just want to make sure it didn't duplicate that HTTPS at the beginning. So we're going to go back and good. It got rid of that initial one. So just double check that this part isn't in here twice. And then we have our width and height of our button. So if you want it to be taller or wider, you can adjust that. You can see how big the size is here. Let's say I want it to be 200 and I want it to be, I don't know, 55. So that'll change when I hit done. And then we have our font family. So we can change the font of our text and the position. I like it centered. I'm not going to change that. If you wanted it left or right, and this is just the text inside the button that you're changing, not the actual position of the button. Then we can actually change the color. So you can go through here and pick out any color you want. You can use this cool little eyedropper. So if you have a color on your desktop or in the email that you want to match. I can just hover over it and that's the exact color I clicked on. And if you have your color codes, you can type them right in there as well. The other thing you have as an option is how you want your button to appear. Do you want it to be completely square and have those sharp corners or do you want it to be rounded and have a curved corner? Um, so square obviously is just a 90 degree angle and then rounded opens up this option here with a border radius for us. So if you really want it to be heavily circular, you can up this, let's just say 50 here. And that will make it even more rounded. So right now this little sample is showing a rectangle with some soft corners. Something like this 50 is really going to curve off that whole end. So I'm going to hit done and we're going to see all the changes reflected over here on the left. There we go. So you can see my button's a little taller and a little wider, and you can see how curved it is on the edges. So if I you know, wanna make more updates, I can go ahead and just pop right back in here and change anything that we already went over. The other thing we can do is actually click on the button and I can drag left and right, top to bottom, and I can reposition it that way, or I guess resize it that way as well. Just remember to hit save once you're happy with it. And then again, you can always hit your preview button to see what it'll look like. And you can hit options and then test 
or download to actually click that on and to see it as a consumer. And that is, <clears throat> excuse me, how you add your button to your emails. Remember, you're going to want to have some sort of information above this to give a call to action of why somebody should click that link. If you guys want to learn more about how to use these widgets, go ahead and keep watching this playlist and go ahead and subscribe to my channel to make sure you get the updates of the latest video launches. I'll see you next time.